excuse me for sitting. I have been walking on the Brooklyn Bridge footpath uh, the morning because it was such a beautiful weather. But it was very, very exhausting. I wonder if you know Pythia, P-U-T-H-I-A. Now Pythia was in ancient Greece a priestess who sat on a tripod stool over the umbilicus mundi, over the hot spring of Delphi. And the steam of this hot spring brought her minerals like uh, uh, arsenic uh, and uh, fluor fluorine uh, and uh, uh, sulfur. So after some time she got dizzy and she started to stammer words. And the secretaries around her noted all the words she stammered and afterwards sat together to produce messages out of these prophecies. This is a fantastic uh, exercise of semiotics. And as Daniel Rothbard is working on semiotics, I was uh, completely astonished to meet him uh, with a project which we integrated in my website Wasserkunst Aachen, H2O Art Aachen, A-C, A-A-C. You might look into that uh, page which has a collection of different uh, uh, contributions of artists to those, uh, to those water problems. Now, the work uh, of Daniel uh, consists in movements. It's not a static work. Uh, the uh, sculptures have no suckle and uh, no standing point. They can uh, uh, be stretched like strings. Uh, they can be floated like chains. Uh, and uh, I thought this was a, a wonderful work to do in the hot springs of the city in which I live. At the same time, I had read a wonderful book by a Turkish author, uh, Oya Erdogan, which is called Water, about the beginnings of philosophy. And Oya Erdogan explains how the ancient philosopher Thales uh, secularized the water, uh, abolished all the kings and queens and nereids and mermaids who lived in the water and uh, tried to define the special quality of this element of our life which is the most movable the most formless. Uh, Daniel proposed uh, to work with rituals to uh, invent a kind of celebration for the water. And that reminded me that apart from the Delphi Oracle, since ancient times, there have been holy springs all over the world and in Switzerland, in Alsatia and in Wales there are different springs still today where people go to get healings. Uh, Aachen, the city where I live, has 15 hot springs. But it's not easy to find them. The holes of these springs have in modern times been transformed into squares and they have, connected, have been connected to pumps because these springs emit very slowly, daily, 30,000 cubic meter of water. And this water must be used in some way. 
and nobody today knows how to use it well. We have a terminal bath who uses part of it, but the water is too hot and the water is too mineralized so that, for instance, children are not allowed to bathe in that water. Uh, I have found them, and I'm very proud of it, and I'm very proud of it that I got the permission to open two of them for Daniel. Uh, and uh, I think this water has a special quality today. Uh, on one side, it is venerable because the substance is about 10,000 years old and comes from a depth of 3,000 meters, very slowly up. It's not a volcanic process. Uh, it's a process of pressing uh, through chalk valves. It comes up very slowly and then it intrudes into the landscape. And when the Romans entered into this landscape, they were completely astonished to find a landscape steaming. And they loved it and they started to build the first thermal bath because Otherwise, they would have been forced to cut thousands of trees to get heat uh, for their life in that country. And so, in that case, they needed nothing but the water from the sources. Uh, I think uh, uh, we will think about several other uses for the water. We have started to do a research about not using the water but its heat for uh, thermal heating uh, and there are other researches going on. At the same time, we invite artists to make proposals to use this water and I have been extremely happy uh, with the offer of a New York artist who comes from afar and who is not at all the history of uh, the city where I live and who entered into this realm with his organizational force, uh, his uh, conviction that he would do a great performance with some help. We engaged people. Uh, he asked for an attendant who should be a dignant uh, woman, and we found an actress whom you will see, who did her work in a splendid way. He wanted an old man, and we found one uh, in a converted uh, Aachen Muslim, who is today an imam uh, in the mountains apart from our city, a wonderful man uh, coming from an old Catholic ca uh, family, uh, and a young Spanish uh, student, uh, nice girl who made her job uh, uh, rather seriously and all these persons who did only one rehearsal before the real uh, thing, uh, they understood that they were engaged in a celebration of a certain value. And you will see and I hope you will understand what they did. Thank you. <laughs>